Cast off the stern! Kid. Here it goes! Uh, hey, oh, hey! Get, watch it! Mm. Captain. <clears throat> Christopher Columbus reporting for duty, Captain. I didn't know that being a sailor meant scrubbing decks. There's a lot you don't know. So good. Seasick, eh? Some sailor you are. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm gonna do you a favor. If you really wanna feel better, go up to the crow's nest. Crow's nest? Where's that? <laughs> Are you sure about this? Yep. <laughs> Whoa! Julio, <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's worse up here. <laughs> just, just wait. You'll, you'll feel lots better! <laughs> what are you doing down here? I... I... Uh... And what are you doing up there? Getting sicker, sir? You know that in foul weather, you're supposed to be on lookout in the crow's nest. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, sir. Oh... Oh... No! Captain! This is his first time at sea. Captain! Water spout! Up the starboard bow! Heading right for us! What? Hey! Bring her about! Trim the mainsail! Helmsman, her to port! <laughs> Could I see the water spout before anyone else on deck? Because you were up high in the crow's nest. But why does that make a difference? Because the earth is round, not flat as some people think. The higher you are, the farther you can see. I'll show you. Look to the right of the island. What do you see? Just the horizon. Whoa. And now? Another island! Now I understand! Just think, Christopher. If we could only fly, like birds, high in the sky, we could see what's on the other side of the ocean. But why doesn't somebody just sail there to find out? Superstition. Many brave men, like your shipmates below, 
actually believe there are sea monsters out there. Well, I don't. Maybe someday, I'll sail across the ocean and see what's there. Please, your highness, slowly. Slowly. Sorry, I was riding too fast. Sometimes I forget. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, go away. You're ruining my masterpiece. <laughs> well, that's enough for today, Isabella. And remember, you are a princess. You must ride like one. <laughs> Except when we play Christians and Moors. Christians and Moors? She has to catch me to get our treasures back. Like this one. Hey, <laughs> give me that back, you Moor. Your Highness, be careful. You're not fighting the real Moors yet. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Columbus. You'll make a fine sailor. Thank you, sir. Columbus, you amaze me. At 25, you're not only the best first mate and navigator I've ever had, but you also draw the most accurate charts I've seen. I'm doing what I love to do, Captain. Christopher, you're in command now. Get out! Get out! Abandon ship! Abandon ship! We're sinking! Here, take this crate. What about you? Don't worry. God help us. God help us. Who are you? Where am I? I am Philippa, and you are in Portugal. Take him to my house. Gently. I'm 
I'm sure there are lands across the sea, and that I could find them. I believe in you, Christopher. Do you think God had something to do with all this? I mean, you being saved and, and being here with me now. Yes, Felipe. And I'm glad it happened this way. So am I. Felipe, will you marry me? Crown thee, Isabella, Queen of Castile. May God grant me the strength to rule wisely and to spread the Christian faith. May he send wise and strong men to assist me. Oh, Christopher, our little Diego is so beautiful. And he's strong like you. I can't bear the thought of leaving you and Diego. You don't mean that you'd give up the sea. You can't. It's your dream to sail to new lands. You will make Diego and me proud. But that's all it is. A dream. I don't even have money to pay for ships. Our friends can arrange for you to see the King of Portugal. Perhaps he will help you. I hope you're right, Felipe. <laughs> King Joao, over the years, I've sailed from Iceland to Africa. I have found evidence of other lands. I know if I sail west, I will not only find these new lands, but a new route to the Indies. I need your help. My scientists say the distance is far too great. No one could make it. But somebody has to try. The answer is no. Go back to sailing the seas you know. As you wish, Your Majesty. Diego! Papa! Diego! Diego, my son. Where is your mother? Christopher? I'm Father Juan. Where is Felipa? I'm sorry, Christopher. While you were at sea, there was a fever. We did everything we could. No. My dreams, our happiness, gone. All is lost. Not all, Christopher. You still have God's gift of a son. Yes. Yes. Our monastery in Spain is not far from here, Christopher. There you will find peace, and you can rest for a while. Thank you, Father. We'll see you there soon. I wish Mama was with us. I know you miss her very much, Diego. So do I. Very much. But she's in heaven. So we'll see her again someday. Indeed we will, Diego. Look! A lake! I'll race you there. You won! We both won, Diego. And we always will. As long as we have each other. Come here. <laughs> I agree with your idea of reaching the Indies by sailing west. If anyone can do it, it is you, Christopher. I have a son to raise, Father. I cannot return to the sea until he's grown. Diego is happy here. Let him stay with us. We'll educate and care for him. And you can visit him often between voyages. But I have no ships, no money. King Joao has refused to help me. But now you're in Spain. I know Queen Isabella very well. I can arrange for you to see her and King Ferdinand. You can? Really? 
Your idea is most interesting, Christopher Columbus, and we will study it. But Spain has other problems which need to be resolved first. We simply cannot afford to help you until our long war with the Moors is over. When that happens, your majesties, I will be ready. Be patient, Christopher. Someday the Moors will be defeated, and you will have your way. If those Moors don't get us first, let's get out of here. They're getting closer. Close. I'll sure be glad when this war is over. The Moors are beaten at last! Turn down and there's another war! Not Christopher. After more than 700 years, all of our country is free again. Not only is Spain free, but finally, after six years of waiting, the king and queen will pay for my voyage. Christopher Columbus, you ask too much. Far too much. You want to be named Admiral of the Ocean Sea and get 10% of everything you find? But certainly it's a small price to pay for the glory of Spain. That will be all, Christopher Columbus. Ferdinand. If you truly feel Spain cannot afford to do this, I would be willing to sell my jewels. It's not that. He simply asks too much. But if he finds gold, we could use it to take back the Holy Land. And if he discovers new lands, we could make Christ known to other people. So, what will you do now? I'll seek help from the King of France. Admiral! Admiral Columbus! Admiral? <sighs> Admiral Columbus, their majesties have granted your request. You can set sail when you're ready. Voyage, these sailors are never coming back. That's right, they'll sail off the edge of the world. Their Majesties wish you and your men a safe and successful voyage. Thank you. We'll bring glory to Spain. Godspeed to you, Christopher. You have chosen a wonderful name for your ship, the Santa Maria. Yes, I've put the entire voyage in the hands of Our Lady. Excuse me, Admiral. All ships are ready. Thank you, Captain Pinzon. Signal the crew for a moment of silence. Yes, sir. All hands, silence! All we need now, Father, is your blessing. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, Papa. I love you. And I love you too, Diego. You take care of yourself. Goodbye. Miss you. Bye. 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 Pedro de Toreros reporting for duty, sir. Welcome aboard, Pedro. You know, you remind me of my first voyage. I've heard all about you, Admiral. I'd like to learn anything you can teach me. Then learn this. If you're feeling seasick, stay out of the crow's nest. Nina! Pinta! Santa Maria! Set sail!
It was just a dream. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> It's a buster! Wow, it's a buster with a big fiery burning head! It's gonna burn us alive! It's gonna eat us up! Oh my god! Men, calm down! That's not a monster! There are no such things as sea monsters. It's a volcano. I've seen this before. We are in no danger. Now, back to your stations. We sail at dawn. We'll never see land again. We'll be lost forever. I tell you, that Admiral's nothing but trouble. He's gonna get us killed. A whale! A whale! How's the fishing today, Pedro? <sighs> the only fish I've caught have jumped onto the ship by themselves. Hmm. Those are flying fish. Take them to the cook. Aye, aye, sir. We lost sight of land 30 days ago. We're reaching the end of the world. And we're running out of food and water. We have to turn back. <laughs> You'll probably get us all killed before we get the chance. Well, then we'll have to kill him first. <laughs> Men, I hear some of you want to kill me. But how would you ever get home? And even if you did find your way back, you'd never get away with mutiny. But if you stand by me, we'll succeed. Let's return as heroes, not failures. Returning home now would make us heroes. We've already sailed farther than anyone before. I say we take command before it's too late! Now who's with me? I am! Me too! And me! There's only one way to deal with this, Admiral. Stop! You men don't stand a chance. Stick with me for three more days. If we don't find land by then, we go home. All right. But how do we know we can trust you? You have my word. Why did you save me? Because you're still one of my crew. Thank you, sir. Admiral, are you really gonna turn back if we don't sight land by morning? I gave the men my word. There! Did you see it, Pedro? See what? A light. I thought... No. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe I'm just too tired. It's been a long day, sir. Clock and all's well. And could it be? It, it's it's land. Land. Oh, land.
I claim this land in the name of their majesties, Isabella and Ferdinand of Spain. And in honor of our holy savior, I name it San Salvador. Let us give thanks. Months later, Columbus returned to Spain as a hero. Thanks to his courage and determination, two very different cultures met for the first time, and the whole world became a better place in which to live. And the faith which Columbus so deeply shared with Queen Isabella opened the door to Christianity in the New World. <laughs> 